so uh, now I, I will focus on uh, entirely to the, this in this section uh, about schema building and we will uh, create a rest of our migrations that is required in our application so before uh, moving to creating a migration so i will uh, show you the table that will be required in this application and along with their fields so which will are required and we will discuss the fields and the naming features and why the fields are required so what is uh, the importance of this so if i now let's shift to our database hdsql uh, in a hdsql in our real time application so which is our my uh, mycos cache so in a mycos cache we have created uh, sorry in a smart expense we have created two tables right now countries and their zones and action application so we will require the, mm, the companies and companies table and the categories table the department the company also has a department because this is a smart expense application we will create a company dynamic company and every user can create multiple companies and uh, along with their categories and periods so we will also define the period time period quarterly uh, weekly monthly or yearly so we have to define create a table for period so we will require uh, countries uh, companies categories periods and uh, the user details so uh, because a uh, super admin or a uh, manager can create multiple user and it will delegate the access or it will delegate the um, rights to its user so we need uh, also a separate user detail table and uh, the most important the budget table where we will manage our budgets and the expense table so where we will manage our all expenses and least but not least the roles so where we will create our role so let's one by one uh, we will see what it is inside these tables and discuss the fields and the requirements so afterward we will start creating our schema building okay in companies just we need a company id and the user id so this is this user id is a foreign key and it gets from the user table so this user id will be in our companies so because we will check uh, who which user has created this company and this company belongs to which user so where we have to tracking and the company name and this timestamps created at and updated at so in a table companies so we can see the indexes so primary key and the company user id is a foreign key so this relation show that this is a foreign relation with the user so and the naming nature for user because this is a, a user id and in a foreign relationing in a company so we will use a underscore so user underscore in each table remember that we, it means that it is a reference id to to some particular table so companies uh, company name and company id and the timestamp in a categories so we will require a company category id and the company id so in a category a department table so we will need to refer to its company so the, these departments are belongs to which company so uh, we have to give a uh, make a relation foreign relation company id so we need just a name and the timestamp created at and updated at so this company id this company id now will become in category table its uh, foreign relation so this company id and in a table so can so categories company id foreign relation so that's it it's relating to and in a foreign key relation so company id categories company id foreign key relation columns company id reference table its companies and foreign key relation is id so on update restrict so we cannot update this and on delete cascade so it means 
so when we create delete our company so all its related department will be created so when we uh, if we create uh, delete in a company table this we create one of company so because it is referenced in a categories and all its relating department will be deleted so that is the meaning of on delete cascade okay and we also will require a period so definitely when this application so belongs to which period uh, let me show to actually application and run okay window at open your terminal cmd cram command prompt and cd zam ht docs my cost cash run it and my cost cash php artisan serve this run your server and open the browser so our server is now running so we can go local host colon 8000 so here we are in our application login just login 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is our application dashboard so i am talking about the company so this is will be the change a company that we will create a company and uh, these are the departments and categories these are number of budgets in our add category so category and when we will delete this category it will not affect but when we delete our company so all the related departments will be deleted and also the related period will be deleted okay let's go to our schema so in a periods we have a company id relation in this period is the id and we will get from to so from and to it will be a one week one day two week a uh, monthly or quarterly yearly and the time step do two field for time step date date and update date okay okay let's see our user details so this this user detail will be used before to user detail let's uh, come to our role so role we have we will require a only id and a role so admin manager member is up to you how many role that you want to create so when you go to our application so this is a super admin and it can create as many user at it want to give the rights delegates is to its user so one is for manager and we have created two user manager and member so the admin can manage this and here if i go to edit so role is manager so now the admin can manage this user and also it can create a user so if i go to uh, add user so admin has rights to create a user so which type of user he wants to create and it will choose the role admin or manager so if it is a admin so it will be admin super admin it will control all the application and if it is a manager so he will describe which company he wants to delegate to this user either this one if he can delegate more than one companies and more than one table so this will be a ajax request so we will send through ajax and it will can create a user okay come to our database schema so we will require three roles and a user table that the super admin can create a user so in a user details we need a user id primary key and the user id of a user table so this user id and because this user has all its information this user table and in a user detail we will track out who has created this user and which company this user has access and which department this user has access so it remember uh, in our application so which company he has an access and which department he has this user he or she or an this user has access 
so we will require a user id from user foreign relation company id foreign relation and category id foreign relation so we will create our user detail table okay so now let's come to our budgets and so first come to your let's go to our application so here is our budgets so we can create a budgets and we can choose our according to department sorry period so budget will be according to your category departments and the periods so this budget belongs to which period or this budget belongs to which category suppose this is a booking department who we have created and its total uh, budget is 350000 and its expense is 150000 so when we choose it so see so this whole is the budget category budget item name budget name and these are the budgets total budget so it's belongs to this booking and if i choose to a specific time period so in january 1 to 8 it show two budget if i choose to a may 1 so see there is no item and it is according to its category so when i click on add new budget so when we add a budget so we have to define our department so in which department you are creating your budget either is a finance hotel acquisition human resource operation product and booking and which period you are going to create this budget i you where you have to create your period in a period department and period so we have created two period so they are will shown in we can see in our budget so so budgets and we have to name the budget name and the unit price and quantity so if i go to test and uh, let me choose uh, some field uh unit price uh finance and give unit price suppose 1000 and quantity 1 to so it will allocate auto calculate this budget okay come to our schema and in a budgets we will require a user id who has created this budget and this budget is who belongs to which company and this budget also belongs to a which category and also this budget is belong to which time period which is period and finally are uh, the item budget name unit so it's a unit price and the quantity how much you, you quantity you are creating for budget suppose is the quantity is 5 so it will multiply this unit and will calculate the total budget and the two fields created at and updated at and the same is with the expense when we record our expense table so we will in expense we will require a user id who has created this expense and we will also require a company id so this expense belongs to which company and also this expense belongs to which category a department and also this expense belongs to a which period and also this expense belongs to a which budget id and who is the approver id so this is the approver id so who has approved because we have a four steps steps in our expense if we go to our expense request so in expense member we have a four step pending denied approved and close so we will have to status and the approver id who has approved this this is a approver so this is a user name will be shown and the its uh, email will be shown in our expense so we will record our expense in our budget and the finance is the um, category department name and this is the budget expense expense name and it is a budget name budget item name and this is a total budget budget left so when we give the expense it will record left and the left is now this is a at the time approved the total budget is this and this user has approved this budget and the request generated is 
ten thousand and the left is amount will be minus from this subtract and show the priority will be high or which are so we can also filter our all departments in our budget expense and we will can filter our according to time period let's come to our schema so we will require approver who has approved this and the priority the price of the expense what what expense ex price and outstanding remaining budget if we calculate the budget subject description and the file of the approver and status we have four status approved closed and pending so we will require status comments will be required and created and updated so this is the schema that we are going to build in next lectures uh, we will continue to create our all the migrations so stay tuned